Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil and in the last TypeScript video tutorial, we learned a first program that how we can make a simple and basic program in the TypeScript. And in this video, we will see that how we can improve this program with simple tips and tricks. And these tips and tricks will uh, help you a lot when you just uh, grow up with your TypeScript and uh, till the advanced level, they will help you to save the time also so first of all let's check out the points that we are going to learn first thing we will see that what is the duplicate identifier issue and how we can resolve it then what is the watch model or you can say that the watch tool in the typescript and then we will see that how we can run the javascript file without the browser and at the last we will see what is the let conversion conversion all right so now first question is what is the duplicate identifier so in the last video we made a simple program about uh, here you can see that the uh, we have a normal app class and it have a function then we will just compile it with the typescript and we just generated a normal js file right but now you will see that there is an issue it called duplicate identifier app what is that issue and how we can resolve it the issue is that because we have the two declaration with the same name one is the class app and the second one is the where app all right so one is here you can see that uh, application with the variable and another with the app with the class so in the javascript we cannot define uh, two things with the same name all right so that's why this this is showing that this is the duplicate identifier issue so now uh, why this is coming because we have these are the two different file the reason is in a same folder if we have the two or more than two files then uh, javascript understand understand them all files as a single script that's why this is showing the issue so how we can resolve it so we can resolve it in the modular approach even i will tell you about the uh, modular approach in the next upcoming videos in a more detail but for a moment you can just simply use here export and just curly bracket so you can see that the object all right and now you will see that we don't have any issue here all right so all error and warnings are uh, just hidden from here so we can just use here ts because uh, now we have to compile this program to the js so we can just write here tsc app dot ts file and just run it now this is just converted here and now you can see that we have a two more lines with a use stick mode as well as the modular approach all right after that uh, okay this issue is resolved now so now you are just thinking that uh, on uh, every change we just have to convert the file again to the js file and we are running it so let's say if I just made a small change, let's say X, all right? Then now you have to just come back here and just we have to write a TSC app dot TS and just run it again and it will convert it. So it will take the lots of time. So how we can say that? For that you can use the minus minus watch command. So just write here TSC uh, app dot TS then just use minus minus watch and now it will in a watchable mode all right so when you will just make any change in your 2s file it will automatically convert it in the js file without just uh, manual compilation for example if i just going to remove this line then you will see it will just start working automatically here and this is changed here all right so if you just make it change here a to x then this is still working great right here you can see that the variable name is changed here so this command will save a time if we have any just any issue like this have any syntactical error then it will just tell that we have an error here right so and a watch time so it will just great so uh, now uh, the next thing how we can run run it without the browser so in the last video you see that we first generate the app.js file then we will just include in the index.html then we just uh, come here and uh, run it in the browser and then we can reload on the every change right so this is not actually much comfortable part it will take lots of time for that what we actually can do we can just uh, uh, 
run our js file directly on a command line how for that i'm just going to close it for a moment and just simply write here node and then we can just write here app dot js and just hit it and now you can see that test function this is working fine this is the output of this file all right that's great now let's come to the let conversion issue so uh, you may learn about the let const and variable things all right so this these are also work with the javascript but when you just use the let here then you will see in the js file which is converted by the typescript compiler it make it just add here war or that why this is added by it because uh, if it if we have a let here then it will still working fine right so see this is still working fine so why this is used the uh, where here the reason is some old kind of browser so as we know that let is supported by the firefox mozilla and modern browser but maybe some older version of the uh, internet explorer or some older browser do not support that uh, support that let keyword that time we have to we have only one option to use the var that's why it will just use the basics of basic and it will just use the var here right so this is the video about some small tips and tricks if you still have any kind of issue or uh, still have some confusion you can ask me in the comment box and please don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care